Now you may be asking yourself, why are addition and subtraction grouped together? Well, let's take a closer look at what's going on. We could combine addition and subtraction. Remember when we were learning to subtract negative numbers? We found that subtraction is the same as adding the opposite of the number to the right of the subtraction sign. Looking back at the second example, we noticed that we could have written 2 to the third minus 2 as 2 to the third plus negative 2, since they mean the same thing. So what about dividing and multiplying? Well, we could have also combined those two. Remember when we were dividing fractions? We found that dividing a number is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. We can do that here also. We could have written 3 divided by 5 as 3 times 1 fifth. By changing the problem so that it only contains multiplication and addition, along with the parentheses and exponents, we've simplified the process to PEMA. Or perhaps we could use the mnemonic. Please excuse math antics. Now if we want to solve this problem, we would simply go back to our order of operations. We will simplify the exponent, then we would multiply, and last we'd add. In both situations, we got a final answer of 57.